Mm, what's going on, everybody? Nan on speed dial here. Uh, you know, just uh, thought I'd do a quick bike check video for you guys because I'm uh, going to go mountain biking with my dad tonight and I don't have time to shoot a riding video. So I thought, hey, let's, uh, let's do a little bike check. So we're going to start with the front and uh, move our way down and back. So I got my signature monkey finger. Um, monkey finger monkey bars here that are totally not the volume captain bars I promise um, this is probably the part that's been on my bike the longest and they've held up I've had them for almost a year and uh, they're great I love them they're 9.5 rise I believe um, and I cut them down a little bit um, because I like narrower bars uh, because throwing bar spins are a lot of fun so Anyways, I ride the uh, ODI long neck grips. These ones are getting pretty beat up. I should actually replace these soon. But uh, they're holding up really well. And uh, I've had these since about Christmas. And they've, they've held up quite a long time. And they haven't ripped yet. So I usually wear them down until they rip uh, and get holes in them. And then I'll get new ones. I also have the matching ODI bar ends. Which if you... Uh, you, basically, you get a free pair of bar ends whenever you buy the grips. Um, so I just replace the bar ends whenever I, uh, whenever I have them. And I always keep an extra set in my bag just in case I wear the bar ends quicker than the bars. Next is an Odyssey freeze stem. It used to be red, but I took the paint off of it because I hate red. Red is the worst color in the rainbow, especially on a bike, I think. Um, I have a top cap. This is just a La Casa fork bolt and top cap, um, because the forks that I have... I didn't fit any other top caps. So I have a 1664. I got. I, I like to have Canadian parts on my bike if I can. Um, so it's a 1664 headset with two big spacers. I like to have spacers on my bike because I'm tall. So I'm six feet tall. So having a big bike is nice. Um, these are the Fit Dugan forks. They used to be orange, as you can see, but I spray painted them to match my bars. Um, and my good buddy Ryan sold me these off of his complete uh, Fit Dugan bike that he had. Um, this is also the matching front wheel to that complete that he had. Um, and then I have four Odyssey MPEGs on my bike with uh, the Royal Plumbing... Um, plastic peg sleeves, um, 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 say um more, Jacob, anyways, uh, so yeah, Fit Dugan complete wheel with the, um, with the Fit Dugan rim, the hub, and the spokes, I actually had two of the spokes removed down by the cap here and switched to gold spokes, my buddy did that before he sold me the wheel, um, I also have the Cult X Vans tires, I think one's 2.25 and one's 2.15. I'm not 100% sure, but I know they're not. They don't have a square setup. So anyways, moving on to the drivetrain here. I run a shadow chain. It's not the Supreme chain. Um, I've had this since September and it is not, I haven't had any problems with it. So yeah, I love it. It's a great chain. Everybody should ride the Shadow Chain, if not the Supreme Chain. Then I have a BSD Guard Sprocket, the 25 tooth. Uh, I love bashing my sprocket off stuff, so I like having the guard there. Super nice. Uh, I recommend anybody who rides four pegs or doesn't want to pay for a uh, left-hand drive wheel to get a guard sprocket. And the BSD Guard Sprocket is great. I have the Sunday Saker Cranks. Um, they were the cheapest cranks uh, on 3-Ride, so I got these. Um, I would like to upgrade them to either the uh, BSD Substance XL cranks or the Merit Battle cranks, but honestly, these guys have held up really well. Um, I haven't been 165. One thing I do kind of like with my bikes is um, I say all or nothing, so I either get the longest... Uh, like the longest part or the shortest part. So I ride 165s 
Um, 165 cranks, that's like the, just about the smallest, and then 9.5 bars, just about the tallest. I have the Duo Resolite pedals. Uh, I got these with my frame. These are awesome pedals. Uh, they are wearing down a little bit over here because um, I hit my pedals off things, but it's all good. And then the back wheel is a Odyssey something. It's a, um, I'm not 100% sure what, uh, what hub it is, but it's a, an Odyssey hub laced to an Odyssey rim um, in chrome. And once again, the van's tires. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to get new new tires sometime soon. These ones are wearing down a little bit. Uh, I do really like the tires. If they if they made these tires in purple, I would totally get them, but I'm looking to get some purple tires. I want to get the Merit uh, purple kit tires, but I don't know if you can get them anymore. Anyways, I run the Mark Burnett Shadow Conspiracy Penumbra seat. It matches the colors. And it's a seat. You sit on it. Whatever. No big deal. So, and then I also have just a, I'm not, not sure what kind of seat post this is. Um, just a black one. Nothing nothing special. It's a seat post. Like I said, once again, you just, you sit, you sit on it. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I have just about a, a fist full of seat post here. Um, maybe a little bit lower than that. I like to pinch my seat helps me do double pull-up bar spins um, and helps do hop bars, which I am getting really good at now. So yeah, there, all these parts are on a BSD ALVX frame. I ride a 21 inch frame because um, I'm pretty tall. I probably could ride a 20.8. I think this frame comes in, but I like the 21. I like just extra space. It's super comfortable, um, super short back end which is nice uh, for manuals and stuff because, um, yeah, so, and then the super steep head angle, which is also nice for nose manuals, which I'm learning right now. So anyways, I think that's everything. Um, that is my bike. And yeah, peace out, guys. It's a bike. Ride it. Get outside every day. Sweet. Have a good one.